ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा पुरुषोत्तम मंथ इज अ वेरी वेरी पावरफुल टाइम पीरियड एंड इट इज अप्लीकेबल टू एवरी ह्यूमन बींग इक्वली फॉर एग्जाम्पल वन टाइम आई आस्ट क्वेश्चन टू हिज होलीनेस रमेश बाबाजी महाराज हु इज द वेरी रिम रिनाउंड सेंट इन बरसाना वेर वी हैव द कैम्प and where we are working for last 31 years so there is a great saint who is staying there for last almost 50 years he came there when he was 12 year old maybe 62 years he has stayed there he is now 84 years old maybe 70 years so when he was small boy he had come there and he is a very powerful saint very realized saint and respected by all in होल ऑफ वृंदावन धाम बरसाना धाम एवरीवेयर सो ही ऑलवेज सेज दैट हुएवर कम्स टू धाम वृंदावन धाम वृंदावन धाम मीन्स गोवर्धन यमुना बरसाना नंदगांव एवरीथिंग इज इंक्लूडेड इन दैट दैट इज कॉल्ड एज ब्रज भूमि हुएवर कम्स देयर विल बी डिलीवर्ड फ्रॉम साइकिल ऑफ बर्थ एंड डेथ means what moksha you will receive moksha you will go to the kingdom of god you will go to the kingdom of krishna and uh, we all go to dham and we are advised when you go to dham prepare yourself huh? we are always told i also prepare people with lot of lectures before the yatra how one should go to dham and how one should chant and how should not tell lies and do sinful activities there do wrong activities there be focused on god so many things we tell them do's and don'ts and we tell them that how to get maximum benefit after you go to dham and if you go like that then you will be delivered by one visit also is enough you will be receiving mercy of the lord so then one time i ask a question even people who uh, cut cows and cut other animals and eat they also stay in vrindavan varsana dham so what will happen to them we are told to eat very pure chant talk very pure behave very purely so many things we are told and they are staying in the dham and still they cut cows and cut bakra and cut everything and they eat and so many other things and there are people who are decoits there also sab jagah sab log hote hain please understand bad elements are also there good elements are also there so there are people who are decoits there now it is very less actually when we went there na 31 years back it was like rampant now it is reduced and now because yogi has come many things have stopped like people have forgotten decoity altogether because this he has punished them like anything so they gone and then there are people who are always drinking all over braj bhumi vrindavan dham where we go and like we are worshiping constantly and praying hearing stories and serving we are like in total focus there about krishna and there are people who drink regularly who are drunkards and there are doing people are who are cheating about milk and everything the biggest fraud milk you will get in vrindavan chemical ke banaya hua soap powder and many things are there they prepare and you can make dahi also 
you can make ghee also everything is artificial chemical the first uh, card uh, kya bolte hain blot paper blotting paper what is it called that thick paper is there we soak thick uh, ink and everything what is it called blotting paper the blotting paper se bhi doodh banate udhar aur wo sabse pehle pakda gaya tha barsane mein where we go to drink pure milk <laughs> where we think that we go and we'll get pure milk and we are hoping that cow ki jagah hai ka naam hi bhagwan ne cow ke upar rakha hai sabse pehle adultery udhar hi mili thi doodh mein so i asked ki in logon ka kya hoga they are so staying in vrindavan and many of them are born there they are born bhujwasis very very special people so what will happen to them so one answer we gave he gave <coughs> the samarpak answer that when you put something in fire what happens it burns it becomes ash so does the fire choose ki yeah, i will not burn this to ash and i will burn this to ash why doesn't it distinguish even there is a kahawat in hindi marathi that even if you put a sukhya barol ole hi jate so when fire is there whether things are little wet or little damp or very dry dry will burn fast but wet also will burn after some time fire will not leave anybody when you go to fire means only burning and only ash so like that dham is like fire whoever goes there there is a absolute result absolute means no discrimination whoever goes black white educated uneducated criminal not criminal everybody will get purified there because dham is like fire the same way adhik mas kalavadi is equally applicable in power to all human beings which means adhik mas who talks all hindu talk na is the hindu festival or hindu good time so you may feel is not applicable to christians or muslims or now about us or parsis or sikh or anybody but as vrindavan dham is absolute the time also is absolute whoever takes the benefit he will get the benefit whoever doesn't know about it will not get the benefit whichever item doesn't go to fire will not get burnt whichever fire goes to fire he will have to get burnt as a rule so we have to understand that adhik mass also is absolute like for example i went to saudi arabia okay <clears throat> and i did 25 rozas over there so i thought in in saudi arabia the rule is that in uh, ramadan month ramadan month you can't drink water in front of muslims so they are fasting is insulting to drink water and eat in front of them it's like no disrespect more than insult is disrespect So somebody is fasting, you just can't start eating posh things in front of the person. Respectful means means you just go away and eat and come back. So the the rule is that when they are doing Ramadan in the daytime, they don't drink water also. So you cannot drink water, you cannot eat food, you can't do anything. So anyways, we have to keep that fast forcefully. So I not I said why not do willfully? If I have to keep feel forcefully, better I keep the fast willfully. so i i studied quran and some genuine sources and i learned how to keep the fast and i kept 25 rozas there so what benefits muslims are receiving in ramadan i have received in that year although i am not muslim i am not uh, from their country born or whatever i am a hindu and i am also a staunch krishna devotee but because i did the fast i got the benefit because ramadan also is absolute whoever takes the benefit will get the benefit if i keep mother mary's fast i'll get the benefit whatever benefit is due i will get <coughs> because i am a human being and human being if he follows any kinds of walk and genuine path will get the benefit in fact i learned about the uh, ramadan fasting in a perfect way how they will do ramadan fasting they'll keep whole day sunrise to sunset no water fast and they'll break it with orange juice supposed to 
as per Quranic instruction. And then they will have only one meal. Only one meal which is a small meal. Not a very heavy and you know not that you eat whole night you go on eating till 4 a.m. in the morning you just go on eating, eating, eating so that in the daytime you don't feel hungry. That is not a right fast. Right fast is you drink with, break with orange juice. After one hour when the body is got little water then you eat some food. And then you keep praying the whole night. There is a midnight prayer also. You keep praying in the midnight also. Whole night you pray and early morning one fajar prayer is there. That is our Mangalarti time, 4.30. They do fajar prayer and then they will sleep. And they will get up at 1 11 o'clock or whatever. But what they do now? They start eating called iftar. And they have so many items in iftar, you cannot imagine. They break the fast with chili fry bhajiya. Chili ka bhajiya se wo fry, wo fast break karte. And then they go here, go there, go to your house, go to her house, go to his house. And they just have party and party only. And night bhi they keep drinking, eating. In fact, everybody puts on weight in Ramadan. It's a fasting month. You're supposed to lose weight. Because it's Dirzala fast. But they eat in the night so much that they put on weight. And in, in the hospital, like I was working, midnight there is always emergencies, acute abdomen. <coughs> what is acute abdomen? Severe pain in the abdomen. Due to gastritis, hyperacidity, loose motions, vomiting, all kinds of stomach ailments because overload is there. Thinking that, oh, next day I have to fast, so let me load. And that loading is not possible for the body. 12 hours you have not taken water and then you are dumping the body with so much food. The body can't handle. So this Vratna, it has got very scientific health base also. It is based on health also. It is not just uh, giving up food. No. In our language, Sanskrit language is called Langhan. Langhan means you just give up food. Vrat is not giving up food only. Giving up food is part of the Vrat. The purpose is to abstain, abstain from too much eating and restrict your eating. So that you control your senses. What happens when you eat? You have to work hard to eat. Everybody is working hard. Then you, with that money, you buy the food. Does it take time to buy the food or no? How much time the house, housewives like you are going taking, you have to go to the market, plan, and plan also what to buy, and then what is the plan for next week, cooking, something three, four days. Accordingly, you go select your subjis and bring and then keep in the refrigerator and a new plan. Okay, then that is purchasing time. Then what about cooking time? Tell me, you are all mothers and wives. How much time you take to cook one meal for your family? One hour, how many people? Four or five people. You require minimum one hour. And you cook two times a day or one time a day? Mostly working ladies only one time they cook. Two times we eat. When you sit for eating, and suppose you don't talk and you just eat, how much time it takes to eat? If you talk and do a lot of things, discussion, then it will take half an hour, 45 minutes. But generally it takes how much minute? So, when you eat, it takes minimum time to eat. But purchasing, working, earning, cooking takes a lot of time. Now, after eating, what happens? Everybody after eating, what happens? <laughs> That's why I don't like to take lecture after lunch. <laughs> but then only I have to be remain awake. Everybody is free to sleep. And the lecturer has to be awake because he has to keep speaking. And everybody is free to sleep. Then maybe you will go behind her and you will sleep. You have a freedom. Right? Why it is though? Because when you eat grains, you need a lot of energy to digest it. So what the body does? The body takes all the blood from all the body and puts in the stomach. Concentrate. Because one activity is going on. Whole body has to be nourished. Na? All the energy has to go to whole body. So, everybody says, okay, mera bhi blood lelo, thora sa kam de do, lekin digest karo, hum sabko energy milegi. So, you tell me, when you eat grains, so much time is wasted. In one sense. 
can't say wasted fully, but it is still wasted. So, what do you do? What is the meaning of fasting? And where all that energy you save for cooking, of eating and digesting. So you remain fresh. Ekadashi food is supposed to be light. Abekadashi bolega to different reason. And ekadashika dosa, ekadashika sabji, ekadashika chutney, ekadashika sweet. I saw fasting to pandra item kaye to bilkul be worth nahi hai. Worth means you restrain. Even the food which you can eat on ekadashi is also to be eaten very minimal. Now you tell me, all these things are for what? Why you are saving energy of digestion and cooking, minimal cooking, minimal eating, minimal digestion, and you are saving energy now by all these things. So why you are saving energy on the Vratha day? Tell me. She said worshipping. What else? We should engage in devotional service. What else? Tell me. Yes, Chandra Mukhi ji. What else? Give the body rest. Give the body rest. It's also good. Detoxification. But this is a physical reason. What is spiritual reason? As she said, worshipping. We need to create in the 24 hours free more time for you. So that you can engage in worshipping. Now, you are dozing off after eating. You are cooking. You are tired. So many things are there. But Ekadeshi ke din paisa nahi hota hai. We eat minimum food and we are more fresh. So all that freshness and time is utilized to worship God, to chant the holy name, to read scriptures, to hear, to pray, sit down and come together and pray, do kirtan. And many people miss this point. They feel, oh, Ramadan means just give up food and give up water. Oh, Mother Mary's fast means just don't eat. Ekadashi means just eat little. Or change of food. Some other country, if you go to Punjab, then they don't eat gehu but eat rice on Ekadashi. If you go to my hometown, they eat gehu on Ekadashi and don't eat rice. Why? Because they every day eat rice three times a day. On Ekadashi, they eat gehu. So they feel change of food is required for the body. And Punjabi people feel that change of food is required for the body. And that is their concept of Ekadashi. But all these concepts are wrong because the main concept of all kinds of fasting is to spend time with God. What do you call fasting in Marathi, Sanskrit, Hindi? Upavas. What is Upavas? Upa means near. And Vas means to stay. This is the real meaning of Upavas. And we consider Upavas means giving up food. No. Upavas is not Langan. Upavas is staying near the Lord more than other days. And for that, eating less food, Different kind of food is important. Getting up very early and staying up whole night is also important. Ekadashi day, what is prescribed is to stay whole night up and do chanting. If not all Ekadashi, at least Ashwari and Kartiki, we are advised to be awake and pray to the Lord. That person, whoever is awake praying to the Lord on these two nights, God will take them to Aikunta. So, main purpose is not to just give up food. The main purpose is to stay close to God. So what is the use of giving up food if you are not with the God? Some people play cards on Upwash day. They feel how to pass time. Khana bhi nahi khana hai, banana bhi nahi hai, ye bhi karna hai. So some people watch television whole night. Some people play cards. Some people even play Juha also. On Ganpati, Navaratri, what they do? They are all time playing cash. Cash means cat. That is what is called patta, gambling, because they don't understand. They only think we should not eat. Many people give up uh, fish, chicken, mutton in flour, but they keep smoking bidis because they are not understood. What is the growth of flour? It is not just giving up some kind of food, some kind of non-veg. The idea is to stay close to God. Come closer to God, get purified, get sanctified from within. So, Adik Mas is like that. It is meant for upliftment of the soul. It is meant for purification. It, it is meant for taking shelter of the Lord. 
more than other days. All other days we chant. We are chanting all the days. Every day we get up at four in the morning and chant for two hours. But because see, we chant for nine rounds more, another one hour more. In whatever time we say, we will read, we will hear some lecture, we will go to temple, offer lamp there, sit in satsang and do a lot of puja and spend time. And we try to maximize our closeness to God on that day. If you are doing all kinds of food giving up, but are not remembering the Lord and not close to God on that day, your breath is a failure. It just a langan of food, nothing else. Body will get some rest and body will get some freshness. In human life, manushya jivan mein, saar samajna zaruri hai. Why we are doing what we are doing is very important. And most people don't know what they are doing, why they are doing. But we at Bhaktivedanta Hospital want everybody to know Whatever they do, why they are doing and why you should be doing it. Anything you do, because the question why can be asked only by you as human being. A dog cannot ask question why. Cat cannot ask question why. Bird cannot ask question why. Only you and me can ask question why and you also can get answer for the why. And all of us should ask why we are doing what we are doing. We should not become foolishly religious. We should become knowledgeably religious. We should know what we are doing, everything. In our Hare Krishna movement, na, everything we do, we know the meaning behind it, why we are doing it. What is Kartik Vrata, we know. What is Adik Mas Vrata, we know. What is the difference, we know. Why we do that work, we know. What all should be doing on that month, we know. What is specific thing, what we do. Everything we know, why we do what we are doing. Like she asked the question, how do we, how do we name the Lord? What is the procedure? So there is a reason behind it. The Lord is named after his function. Lord Madan Mohan. His function is to attract you to him and disattract you, distract you from the world. That is Madan Mohan. Madan Mohan means those who are captivated by Worldly attractions, all of us are to certain degree, different degrees. Most of us are attracted to the worldly shining at atmosphere. We are attracted by clothing, food, women, men, men, women, and you know, money and fame and glamour. And there are so many things are there. We are always attracted and we are divided because of that. And that is called as Cupid. Cupid means what? Kamadev. In English we call Cupid. He is the person who distracts you from God. By showing you attractive temporary things. So he is called Madan Mohan. Sorry, he is called Madan. Cupid in Sanskrit is called Madan. And one who attracts everybody is attracted to somebody. Himself. Who is that person? That is Madan Mohan. And if you are attracted to Madan Mohan, then you will not be attracted to Madan. So what may I have? Very simple. Where Madan himself is attracted, that means that attraction is higher than Madan also. Na? Madan himself is getting attracted, matlab, it is higher than the attraction of Madan himself. And we are all attracted to him. So, Madan Mohan is a person who is a higher attraction than Madan. Who bewilders Madan also, attracts Madan also. So, first step. Second is Govinda. What is Govinda? One who is a lord of cows. One who is lord of Bhumi. And one who is lord of Indriya. Indriya means senses. We have Panchendriya, na? five special senses. There is a lord of that. Govinda also means Rishikesh. Rishika, Isha. Rishika means Indriya. Isha means master. So one who is master of all the Indriyas is Rishikesha. Same as Govinda. 
is a master of cows also lord of cows and lord of indriya and lord of the earth also bhumi go means three things indriya bhumi and cows and what is gopinath gopinath means one who attracts the gopis they are simply mesmerized by his flute and by playing flute he attracts all the gopis he is gopinath what is giridhari one who lifts the govardhan mountain so names of gods are of different types one category of names of lord is based on the activity makan chor matlab kya activity is to steal the butter one who steals the butter activity one who lifts the govardhan giridhari and another is guna guna vachak that means he is karunamayi that means very merciful very kind and dayaghan and one is situational yashoda nandan son of yashoda nanda nandan son of nanda maharaj like that rajeshwar the king of prajbhumi so that's how the names are kept and lord has unlimited names there is no end to his names so there is what i am so tell you trying to tell you that everything has a meaning and vrat has got deep meaning and again and again i repeat everywhere i speak vrat is only meant for human beings men and women males and females vrat is not meant for any bird any animal any fish any mammals no other species other than human beings are having the facility of performing a vrat that is why we all have to take up vrat if you all we all don't don't take up vrat may not be all the vratas but some vrat sometimes we don't take then you cannot make progress anywhere what does a 12 standard boy do when he wants to go for a medicine he gives up his play he gives up his tv he also gives up his is supposed to give up his whatsapp mobile and uh, he is studying day and night so that he can get in the medicine so he is doing vrata why do we do vrata to achieve something higher than what you have now vrat is meant for progress so whenever you restrict yourself to do something achieve something that is called vrat but generally we are very selfish because you want to go to medicine so you don't watch television it's only between you but there is something spiritual for spiritual upliftment to uplift yourself your own self not your body not your caste not your religion not your yourself i am talking atma when you do something to uplift your soul that is spiritual vrata and that everybody is supposed to do whether you are christian hindu muslim no bodha parsi isai anything you are as a human being you are supposed to otherwise the human life that is given to you is a waste simply waste what is the another purpose of vrata is taking shelter of the lord we take vrata to take shelter of that lord for whom is doing the we are doing vrat and this shelter part is very important because you just think about yourself under whose shelter you are everybody think right now you will think of your husband old lady will think about the son or somebody will say I don't have husband, don't have son, but I have money. That is my shelter, or this house is my shelter, it's protecting me. So everybody needs shelter, na? Everyone needs shelter, but you all should know that <clears throat> all the shelters are temporary. Do you agree with me? If you think husband is a shelter, one day he may not give you shelter while he is living. or he may die and then you lose the shoes shelter if you lose him then your son becomes a shelter and one day your son will say thank you mama i am not going to stay with you i am going to usa you will send money to you best doctors you can see but i cannot come many many sons are telling this mama what do you want tell me best of doctors you please consult i am sending money to you money no problem but beta when are you coming i cannot come you know holiday for me i cannot come i have just taken holiday for whatever X Y Z stupid reasons, but for this I cannot come. 
So you have shelter, but you don't have the shelter. Many people, Dr. Bisisha, you know, Dr. Bisisha, our Bisisha, his mother's house is there in uh, Juhu, near Andheri station. Building ka naam ke Ram Jaroka. Ram Jaroka. It has got four to five or six buildings in that. Each having something like 30, 40 flats. And together maybe there are 200 flats. Huh? All, every single flat is occupied only by old mother and father. And all the children are in USA. In the whole, whole society. Only Dr. Bisisha is in Bombay and not in Mandiri, but in Miraru. But only people who stay there is old mother and father. And they all come in the morning for morning walk and everything. And they all are discussing. They are discussing, Aaj mera ECG ka appointment hai. Aaj mera physician ka appointment hai. Aaj mera ko rehab mein jana hai. Aaj mujhe x-ray nikalna hai. Aaj mera sugar ka test ka din hai. Aray, aaj mera BP itna high ho gaya. Subhe hi itna tension mein a gaya. Aray, utha so itna sugar high tha. So all of them come and have a tea in between walk. And they only are discussing this. And second topic is, my son is not coming. When is your son coming? He is also not coming. He is coming in December. There are four months from now. Bus. That's all the talk. So I am telling all these things. Because whatever you think is your shelter is always temporary. And whatever you may think you have shelter, it may not be your real shelter. What is the meaning of shelter? Samay pe kaam aya to shelter. Shelter hai, but kaam pe kabhi aata hi nahi hai. Can that be called as shelter? No. Shelter means when you need the most, it should be available to you. you know? Anything in life, if you take as shelter, then they should come to your rescue when you need. So, is money the shelter? When time comes of death, can money save you? So, well, the crores of rupees are in the bank and you are ready to spend also. Whatever test you doctor you want, whatever test, whatever treatment, ventilator, anything you want, 5 lakh rupees donation, I am ready. But doctor says, sir, kuch nahi kar sakta. You just pray now. All the resource, so-called shelter is available, but it is of no use. And mostly, you think people are your shelter. You think my son, my daughter, my husband, my son, so many things are there. But usually everybody's experience is, Katina samaya yeta, konaka masa yeto. Everybody is having that famous, huh? nobody comes. In fact, when you are in difficulty, all your so-called shelter people, they just disappear. So, happiness doesn't teach you who are your shelter and who are your friends. But miseries teach you and educate you who is your shelter. No happiness time, no good time, no lucky times will, it will tell you and educate you who are your friends. Real friend, real well-wisher. Only Difficult times will tell you. So then that will distinguish totally who run away and who, who stay with you. But those who stay with you also, they also get exhausted with time. Please understand. They want to help you. They love you. But they still sometimes can't help you because they get exhausted. When somebody gets cancer, na, I have seen because we are dealing with death and hospice and palliative care. I am supposed to be working. I have educated myself in that. What we see is all the high energy, loving, caring, well-wishing friends and relatives, they all get exhausted at one point of time. They get sick and they also collapse. So the point I am driving to you is that they may be genuine well-wishers and you have faith in them that they will be shelter, but they fail to be shelter unwillingly. Just time and situations, they exhaust them and render them Unuseful. I will not say useless. Unuseful at requirement. So, vrat when we do, I am not off the track, I am on the track. Vrat when you do, it teaches you our only shelter is the Lord. And rest all shelters, shelters are representatives of the Lord. The Lord will help you through them. Those who are willing. The real helper is the Lord only. 
what is the difference between these shelters and the lord and why we should take shelter of the lord the lord is not bound by time we all are bound by time i may want to help you but as far as lifting bags come i will be useless because i have back ache and i am also elderly if physical work is there you have to find some young man so i want to help you i am with you also but at the best i can give you advice and inspiration that is my capacity i am limited so young boy is there he has capacity but he has no desire to help you ho sakta hai na kaay aaj kitni kat kat hai tujhi kitni pasun mein ho kar to hai pan tujha kaay hai ajun mail kar te kar sangte hai na kitni prashna vicharshil i already answered your question but you again ask me his goli gai chika kitni vela te te vicharshil hai na so a capable person is there but he doesn't have desire to entertain you or tolerate you lord is not bound by time lord doesn't die lord is always there lord can be only your friend and shelter life after life and other people are changing life after life hai ki nahi today your husband is x person next life is not your husband somebody else will be your husband your son you will be also daughter of somebody else parents are different brother family total set is different and you don't remember also who was your x y z last time so the lord is the only common factor common link birth after birth even if you become cat and dog next life also he is there with you so one benefit of the lord and the lord is saksham that means he is powerful he doesn't become weak with power of time he always remains equally powerful to help you i may be some powerful some powerful at 40 and i will be less powerful at 60 and i will be almost useless at 80 although i want to help you i really want to help you but i am not able to help you lord is not bound with time he will be always capable all the time third thing nobody can maintain desire to help you consistently all throughout your life when i am just married i am all out to you want if my wife needs this also i am wondering can i get something for you you want a hot drink you want a tea you want some tulsi ka kada you are you sneezed you sneezed then after 20 years of wedding she sneezed 50 times is not even bothered not you asking are you not well can i get something for you that means when newly married you are like looking at whether she is having one lucky of tiredness on the face what can i do for you and now she is saying i am tired i am tired i am i cooked for the whole day i am sweated for the whole day it is so hot you are not even looking you are looking in the mobile are at least you hear what i am saying i am hearing all the time and let me see some break so where the desire went where the caring nature went changing but the lord's caring nature does not change with time Whether you are a baby, you are a young girl, you are a married girl, whether you are old lady with disease, without disease, Lord's care will be always there for you. What is the other quality of God, which differentiates others from the Lord? Nobody will accompany you life after life. The Lord will accompany you life after life. Even though, sorry to say, we we become worm in the stool by our karma, for example. in that worm in the stool also the lord will accompany us parmatma he will not see he is disgusted when you get out of this i will accompany you again till that time i stay outside no oh, lord will be with you jete jato tete tu maza sangati so wise person knows ek aisa gana mein ek har bahut sari katha mein bolta hu lao kya सहारा लिया था जिस जिस का हमने लेते हैं ना हम लोग सारे बचपन में माता पिता का लेते हैं जवानी में हस्बैंड का लेते हैं बुढ़ापे में बच्चे का लेते हैं हर समय पैसे का सहारा लेते हैं कितने टाइप का सहारा लेते हैं हम लोग वी थिंक दैट आई हैव लॉट्स ऑफ कॉन्टेक्ट यू नो एनी थिंग आई विल कॉल पुलिस आई विल कॉल जज आई कॉल लॉयर आई कॉल ऑल कैंड लार्ज कॉन्टेक्ट बेस आई हैव गॉट 
any difficulty comes na if plumbing problem is i have got a plumber contact if electricity i have got electric contact i have got all kinds of contact mein koi chinta nahi hai i have got many shelters for many difficult times sahara liya tha jis jis ka humne वो सब डूबते रहे भवर में बिचारे कादर मन प्रभु है अवेलेबल है डिजायर भी उनको है जब भी भी आके हेल्प कर लेकिन तूफान इतना आ रहा है कि वो भाई से घर पे पहुंच नहीं पा रहे लाइट गई हुई है अभी जब बारिश थमे गई तूफान थमेगा तभी वो सुबह आ सकता है बिकॉज इतना इतना पानी है वो कैसे आएगा यू वॉन्ट फोन पे बात कर रहे मैं आना चाहता हूँ लेकिन मैं निकल नहीं सकता घर से इतना तूफान आ रहा है सहारा है लेकिन अवेलेबल नहीं और वो वो सब डूबते रहे भवर में बिचारे वो भवर क्या है वो समय का भवर है काल चक्र उसमें सब सहारे डूब जाते हैं जो जो लोग सोचते हैं कि मैं उनका सहारा हूं एक दिन जब मेरा देहांत हो जाएगा तो वो खत्म हो जाएगा था सहारा वो जब तक था बट समय का भवरा जो ऐसा है ना काल चक्र वो किसी को छोड़ता नहीं है तो वो सब डूबते रहे सब भवर में बिचारे वो सब जाते रहते हैं बचता कोई नहीं यहां पर इसलिए हमें भगवान का ही सहारा लेना चाहिए विश टेक शेल्टर ऑफ द लॉर्ड ओनली एंड इवन दो देर आर शेल्टर अवेलेबल टू यू हेल्पिंग यू लाइक वेल विशर्स यू शुड नो द रियल शेल्टर इज लॉर्ड ओनली and by his mercy these people are helping me that is wisdom that is why it is said that sahara ek hona chahiye all the time jo khud dukhta nahi hai wo sahara hona chahiye jo bhagta nahi hai aur rehta hai hamare sath wo sahara hona chahiye ho kar bhi bhag raha hai to us sahare ka fayda kya hai aur vishva ke sare sahare ऐसे समय पर नष्ट हो जाते और वो एक ही टाइम एक ही व्यक्ति उस समय सहारा रहता है तो व्रत उसके लिए करते हैं ताकि उसका सहारा और दृढ़ हो वी शुड बिकम मोर स्ट्रॉन्ग इन दैट शेल्टर वी शुड सी शेल्टर इज ऑलवेज अवेलेबल ऑफ द लॉर्ड बट यू डू नॉट टेक द शेल्टर यू थिंक माई मनी विल हेल्प मी माई डॉक्टर विल हेल्प मी माई पुलिस विल हेल्प मी माई लॉयर विल हेल्प मी माई सन विल हेल्प मी एंड वी दिस थिंग दैट All kinds of shelters are there, na? Why should I bother? The best example I'll tell today about the shelter is Ropadi's story. What a fantastic story it is! Very painful story, but very teaching story. When Ropadi was being disrobed, when Dushyantan 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 was being disrobed, But they all put their head down. They were world champions, and they could have finished Duryodhan Dushasan on the spot only. But the situation was such that although had they had all the powers in the world to destroy the miscreant, the aggressor, they just had to put their head down. Then she turned and saw Bhishma Dev. Bhishma Dev also looked down. Duryod Dronacharya, the guru of all people. Both parties, he looked down. Then she saw Karna. He abused her. He said, "She is like a prostitute of wife of five husbands." So instead of shelter, she he said such words which the Pandavas never forgot. It's like so painful to them, like to hear this kind of words. Even when Karna was about to be killed, Arjuna didn't want to kill. Krishna said, "This is the man who told your wife, called your wife as a prostitute." He was like he became red, you know, when he was reminded, and he killed him. So he, she tried all so-called shelters, and all the shelters were useless. Then she held her kapda, vastra, in her teeth, and tried to hold by hand. That means now she is taking shelter of herself. She thinks my body, my strength, my muscles, my teeth will hold my cloth and save my. Shield, shield means izzat. My my strength can be protected by me, but Dushasan had a strength of one thousand elephants in one of his hand, and he was pulling. 
So what Draupadi's Komal hands and teeth will do in the aggression of the strength of 10,000 elephants. So naturally, she understood that these teeth and these hands are useless. They are going to be in seconds, they are going to be useless. Then what she, what she did? The hands which were holding the cloth, she left and she rose her hand and she called Krishna. And instantly Krishna appeared in the form of unlimited cloth. And there's so much cloth, so much cloth that pulling and pulling and pulling that 10,000 elephants wala, strength wala man fell unconscious. You just try sometimes. You go on pulling, pulling and pulling 15 minutes, half an hour, one hour you pull then you will feel giddy. You will fall down. So that fellow fell down. So much cloth was produced unlimitedly from the sky covering Draupadi's body. She was going go round and round and he was pulling from one side, another side cloth was coming to cover her. So what is actually happening? It is said that Krishna was right there. What he was saying? Till the time you have faith in everybody else, try. I am there. I am waiting. When you come, exhaust all your so-called shelters, then I am there only. So when she exhausted all her shelter, including her husbands and elders and teachers and other warriors and other so-called people and then her own strength and then she realized there is no shelter. Then she gave up all shelters and called the Lord and the Lord was right there, instantly saved her. So what do we learn from this? That whatever shelters you keep faith in the world, they defeat you, they cheat you, they deceive you at the time of the most requirement in life. The most this is like a, the most important event in her life. She was getting disrobed. There is no history, no Purana, no story in the whole history where any woman is being tried to disrobe, you know, in the our Puranas. There's only one story is there. Such a thing for a woman, not she's an ordinary woman, not roadside woman. She's a queen of Pandavas, Rajasri she was, royal woman. And not that she was disrobed in the Jhopadi somewhere alone. In front of all assembly, Raj Sabha, it is called as Vishya Sabha, like a poisonous assembly. The vicious assembly it is called as. Duh Sabha, it means worst assembly. So imagine what kind of situation she was. And she tried everybody, whoever she thought will help, but nobody helped. All so called shelters, they failed. They denied, they couldn't do anything. And when we take shelter consciously of the Lord only, then it is available. Till the time if you have any other hope, why should Lord come? Tell me. If you don't feel I can help you, why should I help you? If you feel I can help you and you come to me for help, then I may help. But if you feel somebody else will help you, then you will go there. Then why I will come running behind you? You don't need my help, then why I should come behind you? But when you come with feelings that, yes, you can help me, sir, then I will try my best to help you. Although I am not capable, I will put my heart into trying to help you. I will do my best to help you because you have put trust in me. Similarly, Lord also requires, demands trust from you. That you trust him that he will help you. If you don't think he is ultimate shelter, ultimate support, and don't have the trust in him that he will be the ultimate support for me, why should he do? We need to have personal relationship with the Lord. So this month is also to take more and more shelter of the Lord. To learn to take more shelter. Practice every day. What do we practice? It's all mind. It's all inside here. What is your mind telling you? Okay, I have no shelter for the Lord. I have my husband. I have my son. I have my money. I have everything is there. My security is all there. But I know at difficult times, no security will be at my rescue. That understanding, if you have, then Lord will always be with you. Although you are a millionaire, you have hundreds of contacts, you have got all this, also, your position, your power, your authority, which I itself can help. Na? Sometimes because a phone call, kya do, you are in America, but you phone call, kya do, India mein, ghar pe aake, ambulance can take your mother to hospital, put in ICU, best of doctors will see her. There is authority. I have been making a call from America. 
send ambulance and call Dr. Suraj to take care of my mother. And I'm not there, I'm coming, maybe I'm busy. But in one phone call, all things are done over here. Not for my mother, if I call for anybody, it will, have, it will be happening. But at times, though, like I called now, I called up, but there is a storm and you cannot reach there. The Lord is our only shelter. And there are many stories like this. You know, there is a Brahmastra which was released on Uttara. Ashwatthama thought, my friend Durodhan is killed by Bhima illegitimately by hitting under the belt. So I want to destroy these Pandavas, their vansha, their children, I want to destroy them. Nobody should leave. So he wanted to burn the tent only. Where after the war, everybody sleeping peacefully, five fathers and five sons are all sleeping in one tent. But somehow the son's ka tent was burnt and father's ka tent was not burnt. Somehow in the middle of the night, nobody could see anything. But he thought he will burn everybody, but he burnt all the five sons of Pandavas. And then he came to know one son, one baby is in the womb. That is Abhimanyu's son, Pandavas' son's son. I want to kill that also. If I can't kill this Pandavas, I will shoot an arrow towards that baby in the womb. So, just say, Kokros ko maane ke liye gun nikalte na. Vaise, Bhrun, yani fetus, yani baby in the womb, ko maane ke liye Brahmastra nikala ho. Brahmastra can destroy the whole universe. Brahmanda ko maas jala sakta hai ho. Ko ek bachche ko maane ke liye beja ho sakta hai. Milab, bachna hai nahi chahiye. Kitna kroor rahega ho. And he chanted a mantra, Om Brahma, Yenama, and he released. And the arrow was coming. And Uttara realized, the Brahmastra is coming to the womb, not even to her also. Imagine, huh? you can imagine, it's not true, but you can imagine that you are pregnant and somebody is sending atom, atomic weapon to your womb to kill your child. What would be your condition? How fearful you would be? And Brahmastra is not like electron bomb, atom bomb, and you know, nuclear bomb and electron bomb. Is, these are all puny things, you know. There are no specifications. Brahmastra is very specific, very precise and very powerful. Unless you have power to retract it by learning it, then only you can retract it. So, nobody could retract also. Vyasadeva had to come to retract it. Because Krishna said, release your Brahmastra. So, there are two Brahmastras now. One is going towards uh, Uttara's womb, another is to counteract that. And the world is burning because of that. So, then Vyasadeva came and this too. But, before that, the Brahmastra reached Uttara. Now, Uttara had her father-in-law alive. Na? Yudhishthir was alive. Bhim was alive. Arjun was alive. Whose father, who was her husband's father. Arjun is alive. Nakul Sadev, all powerful men are alive. But she didn't call them. Oh, Tauji. Oh, Yudhishthir Maharaj. Oh, my... Grand, um, father-in-law, elder father-in-law, please come. Oh, where my respectable Bhim Sain, my other father-in-law, where are you? Please help me. She, in spite of knowing all these things, she only called Krishna. Please understand this. But she was a very wise and spiritually elevated lady. She knew that although these are all there, but my shelter is Krishna. And she called Krishna. And what did Krishna do, you know? When you call him with faith, na? That he is my shelter. What all he can do? He took a form which was only half the thumb size. This much size. This much size has got four arms, two legs, one head, all the jewelry, all the mukut, all the shastras, shankha, chakra, padma, gada, everything he is holding. He is as powerful, shining. And he entered her womb. And inside the womb, the child was dead by Brahmastra. There are details of story. You may not know everything. But because of Brahmastra, the child is already dead. So, Lord first destroyed the weapon, Brahmastra, by his Kaumudaki Gada, by the club. By moving his club, he destroyed the Brahmastra and by his glance, he got the child alive. The dead Parikshit was alive. And in the womb, he saw the Lord. Because he is now alive. So, he opened his eyes and he saw the Lord. And immediately the Lord disappeared. That is why this boy 
was all the life searching for that man, that person whom he saw in the womb. That is why his name is Parikshit. He is doing Pariksha of every person. Is he that person whom I saw? Vajra he came out, Lord was not there. Lord disappeared. Lord went away to Vaikuntha. So when he was born, he saw that person. But when he was born, because pregnancy was continuing. After pregnancy continued for some time. In the between, Lord went back to his Golo Vrindavan. Everybody, he, Vyadavas, everybody went back. Lord finished his Leela here and Lord went back. So he took birth. So whole life he was searching for that person whom he saw in the womb. Now what is there to learn? Although you have powerful people to protect you, you call only that person who is Supreme Lord. Magar Mach was inside the water. 1000 years of fight was going on between the elephant and the Magar Mach, the crocodile. And when the elephant had so much power, he thought, hey, I will defeat this person. But elephant was a land animal and crocodile was a water animal. So slowly, slowly crocodile became stronger and stronger because apni ghar pe na, apni pitch pe fighting kar rahe ho. Pardes mein nahi So slowly, slowly elephant became weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker and the crocodile started swallowing the food more and more and more and more. And at one point of time, he had faith in his strength that my strength is my shelter and I will use that shelter to defeat my enemy. But he came to know my strength is becoming zero. Soon I will be swallowed by the crocodile. At that time, he picked up in a helpless, weakest condition of his life. He picked up one lotus flower from the pond and threw it in the sky in the name of Vishnu and called Vishnu, please come and help me. You should read Bhagavat for this. Huh? There are prayers of Gajendra. It's called extremely powerful prayers, which can pull the Lord from wherever He is to you. Those are the prayers which He was offering. And you know something? When the Lord heard His prayer, na, He was in Vaikuntha that time, Lord Vishnu. So immediately called Garud. Instantly, right now we go. And He was pushing Garud so fast that Garud, the fastest flowing bird, fastest flying bird, could not cope up with the speed that Lord was expecting him to fly. So, Garuda fell unconscious, foaming at the mouth on the way. Because Lord is so eager that my devotee who is calling me helplessly, I need to reach him instantly. And Garuda could not cope up with the speed. So, what the Lord did? Garuda became unconscious, foamed at the mouth and unconscious. Lord lifted Garuda on his back and came in few seconds to earth. Put Garuda aside, unconscious. After some time, Garuda became conscious. But the Lord cannot say, my vehicle break down. What can I do? I have to repair my vehicle. I have to get Garuda back to his consciousness. No. Lord, instead of he being in the back of Garuda, Lord took him on his back. He became his Vahana and rushed down in few seconds. And instantly cut the body of the crocodile and released the leg of the elephant. So, why this happened? Because the elephant was king in the last life, King Indradumna. And he had, he was a devotee of the Lord. And he had learned many, many prayers from his childhood. And those prayers he did not forget in his next life as elephant also. So, he recited those prayers. Otherwise, how elephant will recite prayers? But the soul of that King Indraduna was in the body of elephant. And he remembered his prayers of last life. That is why I always learn to pray. Because when prayer is done for the Lord, it is purely spiritual. You will remember it life after life. You pray for money and pray for him and pray for that. That is all gone. When you pray for the Lord, that prayer will come with you and it will remind you in the difficult times. And the Lord released him. One second late, he would have been finished. So, you want timely help, Lord provides. Lord doesn't come late after one hour, two hour. Kya karenge? Mera vehicle breakdown ho gaya. The road bhi fail ho gaya. No. Aisi hazaaro kaani hai. The Lord comes like this. Zanabai. Is the story of Zanabai? 
जनाबाई वॉज सच अ सिंपल पुअर लेडी देन नो बड़ी विल नोट हर डाउन की भाई कोई है ऐसा जनाबाई जैसे देर नो पोजिशन पॉवर्टी इल ट्रीटेड बाई फैमिली मेंबर्स ऑलवेज यू नो वेरी डिफिकल्ट कंडीशन पशु सच अ डिवोटी ऑफ लॉर्ड विठला Lord Vitala would come at her home. There's so much work at her home. She has to clean the buffalo also, she buffalo, and she has to clean the pots also. She has to do the chakki also. She has to do so many works at home that she would get exhausted. Lord would come in adrusha, incognito. That means Lord is there with you, but others cannot see. Only she knows. And the Lord would do chakki with her, you no know, grind her flower, flower. Then Lord will. Clean her buffalo. Lord will milk the buffalo. Lord will heat the milk. Lord will do ladu, jhadu, pocha. Everything household work. Lord Vital was doing, and she was, you know, relishing the relationship with the Lord every day. Lovingly, they were all connecting with each other. The Lord one day felt that such a great devotee, such a great lover of mine, such a devotee of mine, but nobody knows about her. i will make her famous and how the lord does what he does very difficult to understand in the beginning later on you will understand so what one day he did vithal he removed his one big garland of gold with a nice pendant you know sona se padak asleli thi mala he removed and kept it there on the some some platform and he went one day and then In the temple of Vithal, everybody was searching. Ki one big har is lost, with a big pendant of gold is lost. Somebody has stolen it. So immediately, it was like Sainik all left. They all left and started searching everywhere. And by unfortunate situation, they found that in Dana Bai's house. And they arrested her because you know anything to do mischief with the Lord, chori in the temple. Story of Lord's things, story of Lord's ka gold ornament. One is his gold, second is his Lord's. So only punishment is death. There is no court kacheri, vakil. Pandra din tarik gir rahi hai, vakil kuch bol raha hai, ulta sulta ghuma ke usko bacha raha hai, aur gold ka chain bhi aapka aur aap shoot bhi jaate ho. Aisa nahi udhar. One rule the king will say kill her. And how killing was done that time? Punishment. Aaj aaj kya bolte hai? To be hanged till death. Till he dies. पहले तो hang hang था, पर वो जिंदा रहते थे वो, कभी कभी. Now it is a till he dies. मतलब you have to hang him till he dies. उस जमाने में एक सूली हुआ करती थी. सूली means a भाला. What do you call it? Javelin. It has got a big sharp end. भाला means the end is very sharp. and it is kept on the ground and you are hung on a pulley and the door is kept by that person and the king will say release then you will be released and you will be released on the point of the javelin bhale ke nok par aapko chhodte hain aur fir gudar dwar enas se wo ghusta hai andar aur sar se bahar nikalta hai itna upar se aapko fekte hain uske andar कि वो जो भाला है ना सुली वो गुदा द्वार से घुसती है पूरा इंटरस्टैंड क्रॉस करके हार्ट क्रॉस करके सर पोड़ के बाहर निकलती है एंड द पर्सन डाइज इंस्टेंटली इमेजिन ना सो हाउ कैन यू सरवाइव तो शी इज कॉलिंग विठल विठला धावत ये लव करी नाही के ली मी पद काची सोरी आई डोंट नो सॉन्ग प्रॉपरली बट she is calling the lord please i am not she is saying i am not worried about death i am not worried about anything i am only worried about if i am killed then people will feel that devotion to lord is useless she is telling the lord in the prayer ki me mardala bhit nahi hai i am not scared of death because i know when i will die i will go to vaikuntha i'll get moksha i am sure about it you will take me to moksha But I am calling you still because if you come, then people will know that for every devotee, Lord is a protector. What about your fame as protector? What about your fame as Sangat Mochana that you save your devotees? People will lose faith 
He, she was a devotee of the Lord, and the Lord didn't come to help her. Why you should worship the Lord? He is not going to come to me also. Janabai, he did not come. Who will he come? That's why you come, my Lord. And I have not done chori of padak also. That's another thing. I have not done the chori. She is saying four five stanzas are there, and then she kept on crying, and they said release her, and they released her. So the suli turned into vithal. Lord took the form of suli. He became vithal. He caught her, and everybody saw that vithal appeared in place of suli. And everybody saw that Lord came to really to save her, to protect her, and they were all bowing down to her. Hey, the Lord told everybody she did not steal. I had come to her house and I had left it. to make you understand what kind of a great devotee she is i wanted her to become famous so everybody fell at her feet so aise bhagwan ne ananta roop mein ananta bar apne bhakton ko bachaya hai ananta bar isliye sahara ek hi hona chahiye pachas nahi hone chahiye baaki logon se madad le lo par jano ki ye भगवान का ही सहारा है जो हमको मिल रहा है और ये महीना में यू ट्राई योर बेस्ट टू टेक शेल्टर ऑफ द लॉर्ड बिकॉज दैट शेल्टर इज इन दिस मंथ इजिली अवेलेबल देन अदर मंथ्स दैट इज वाई देर इज पुरुषोत्तम व्रत पुरुषोत्तम अधिक मास इट इज नॉट जस्ट टू कीप फास्ट एंड यू नो एक्सपेक्ट सम प्रॉफिट लाइक पगार विल इंक्रीज माई सर विल गेट एडमिशन इन मेडिसिन my daughter will get married and i will get going to bigger house than smaller house this month is not meant for this kind of benefits this month is only meant for developing love and devotion to the lord more than what you have now hari krishna